Oh, they built a boat. Assuming I did down there. So we're finished. We finally got past getting the left side of the arm off. It was a pain. Bad. It was yeah. because it was dropped on the shipment from was it Finland? From Finland. Yeah. 50, like, uh, when, I don't know when they came here. I don't know when they. I think they came here in the. I, I'm assuming the 90s is when they bought their house, but they might have lived in the area before that. It doesn't make a difference. Right. They bought it when they newly got married 51 years ago, 1965. So it's very sentimental, and that's why they want to keep the fabric. Right. That's another point that we'll go over real quick later on. Right. We why. didn't want to cut through right. all the dowels and when we say all the dowels whoever fixed it here in the United States did a great job they really did but they fixed it to the point where it was almost damp well it actually did it damaged some of the wood the original wood because they made it so secure as if it was never going to be reupholstered right we got like 20 something holes in there now yeah 20 dowels 20 dowels plus brads plus a block that when none of that was factory so they did a good job, but they almost made it where, well, they did. We, we had to continue, and it damaged the wood continuing. Right, because so, that's the only way you can do it. What are we gonna uh, do? Literally, they had three dowels, I think three to four dowels in each leg, when the factory only had one bolt for each leg and one washer for each leg. That was it. So not quite sure why they went ballistic. But anyhow, they did a good job. I'm not going to criticize them because, you know, they could have done a crappy job. That's right. It definitely was going to hold. Thank God the fabric held up. Mm -hmm. because you know um and that's was, you go ahead please no please that, that's one reason why we didn't use the reciprocating saw is because we knew we we're going to shred the fabric because the fabric's tucked in right in the center right here mm -hmm. and that's where all the dowels were so if you're going to take a reciprocating saw you're going to you know you're going to see you know threads flying and stuff like that right so we didn't want to damage the fabric right. so more is not always better, but we're going to move on. We're going to take this, le um, the, almost said leg, we'll take this arm off. That's right. And we got to put foam on there. And we already did it on the right side because we, we talk about from the right to the left, from sitting into the furniture. Not looking at, but sitting in. Sitting in, right. So we've already done that. It's on the other side of the sofa here. You can't see it. We're going to show you that. And um, we're going to move on to this one. So we finally got this one off. One, two, three. There we go. We're coming. Excellent. Yeah, look at that. This, uh, this thing's still holding on. Look at that. Man, man, they overdid it, man. They completely overdid it. Because it causes cracks right here. You know? Yeah, they split the wood. Wood can only take so much. So we're going to go ahead. Now let me get out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, here. If I may, real quick. There's the finished uh, part. We're going to go ahead and try to mend the wood as best as we can. But, um... It's going to look good. It's going to be strong. Stronger than they had it, actually. Because they actually damaged it by putting so many they in. They did. They did. And also what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue in this huge crack factory, okay? We're going to put some glue in the, uh, the crack of the wood. I'm going to take some clamps and clamp this down and hopefully get it to come together to bring it back the way it originally was. I don't think I have a three inch screw. It's not three inches by far. We might be able to screw it in through there. Okay. All right, so we got the arm done. We got this one done first, and we're gonna show you how we got to here, but you can explain a little what you did. Yeah, we just put the foam all the way around. The measurements were a little bit different because we told you this came from Finland, so the, the metric system's different from ours here in the United States. So we had to put a little Daycon over top of it, but it looks great. I know they're gonna love it. This was the good arm. Yeah, yeah, okay. this was the one that came off quite easily. It only had two bolts, and that's yeah, all they really needed. Not the 20 dowels that this person did. Yeah, I mean, you know, they did a great job of repairing it, but it had to stay like this forever, and obviously uh, the foam de deteriorated, and the fabric would as well in the future. So uh, when we took it apart, it was a lot of damage still yeah. done to this. I'm not quite sure why they didn't just replace this piece of wood in the originally, but... They didn't. So we're not going to keep it that way. We fixed the frame on the sofa. Right. We glued it up. Uh, I don't know if we showed you that or not. It doesn't matter. We put some glue in there, put some uh, clamps on there. That's okay. But this piece, I'm not going to let it go. It looks terrible. They got dowels here. Look what they did to this leg here. Um, personally, I just don't believe in like, you know, uh, destroying stuff. I don't know if you can see it in that camera there. But you got a hole here. This is an original hole there. 
um, a hole here and a hole there. And this is a pretty little piece of wood, you know? Yeah, even the original hole, if I may, real quick, it looks like they drilled a little bit for the dowel. It made out was me trying to get it out, but well, you had to. This thing's this thing's kind of not ruined, but it's on its last leg. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna put a new piece of wood in here. So what I gotta do on a new piece of wood right here, I gotta take this fabric off here. We're right. gonna peel this back simply like this. I mean, we know you're not gonna have this application. We just wanna show you what it's like to work in a upholstery shop. What we come across and see if you guys like it. Exactly. We're gonna peel this back. And this piece of wood right here, I don't know if you can see it in that angle here, is going to come off and then we have to rip it down the table saw, right. cut it to length, get the measurements, and then get all this uh, deteriorated rubber, rubber foam, latex off. off and out. We're going to show you that. We're going to take like a, a putty knife and start scraping it off. I think it came off pretty it easily. It came off really easy. Okay, that's good. It so is. It's a great piece. I it, love the piece. It is. It is. And it looks great. I, I'm gonna, I'm really excited for them to actually see it yeah. because it is such a sentimental piece since they had it since they were married. Um, and um, years ago. Yeah, so it's going to look like brand new. They're a great couple. I wish they we had are. a thousand of them as our clients. So let's get this done. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take off this piece of wood, right. see what happens, and you'll see me out there using a table saw and the chop saw. Right. Or All a right. miter box or a miter saw. All right? Sounds good. Oh, no. Okay. So what Grant and I are doing right now is just a thin layer of veneer. It looks like maybe just an eighth of an inch. I don't even think that. Probably a sixteenth of an inch. That is behind this uh, latex foam here. Then this piece of wood sits on top. And that gives it substance in the back there for the foam to go against. Because without that veneer, the foam has nothing to attach to. So what we think happened is the person who repaired this, although they did a very thorough job, they were afraid to take off the fabric and just replace this wood. So that, this was the problem actually with the sofa, what we're experiencing here. But we don't want to cut off this veneer, uh, we'd like to be able to save it if we could. So that's, that's what we're trying to do now. Separate this piece of wood with the veneer that goes behind there. Which we don't think we're going to be able to do it because the guy has dowels in here that go through the, through the veneer as well. Right. And go into the other wood. Right. So, obviously, the, it's going to have holes in it when we take it off. We could take it all off and replace it, but I don't have veneer here. We have uh, cardboard, but I want to keep the original structure if I can. What's that? We need something to cut those dowels, yeah. Something's okay. Gonna, we need something that's going to cut them. Right? Yep. A little bit of everything. Alright! Hello! That's right. Got a little veneer right here. Cool. Oh. Man, they punched so many holes. One, two, three, I four, know, five. That's stupid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright. Okay, so I think we can still use it. Yeah, we can. Sweet. So we can still use the veneer. And put the foam over top. We got to re, re uh, replace duplicate that, yeah. replace that, or replicate, replicate that. And um, we got tacks right here. We're gonna take these out and then staple it back down. I see one. Let's shake this crap out, man. Let's shake it. This. What the. Oh, look at that, folks. This sucks. Oh, man. Hmm. He did it. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. It's latex foam for you, people. Are what? you kidding me? Let's just take this thing off. Yeah. Outside. 
5 eighths and then uh, 11 sixteenths. 34 and 11 sixteenths. It's kind of late. late. I'm done. I'm done. All right, so we've cleaned off the arm. The arm has no more foam, no more glue. It is done. All right, table's all clean, ready to go. That's right. So what I did too is I cut this new board to length to the old one. Right. And I also had to rip it down. Uh, the I width and the depth. And the depth as well. So I'm gonna lay this up here and I already started one. I got these two lines here because this groove is what receives the leg as they had in the factory. So all we're doing is duplicating what they originally had. And um, simply made my mark here and flipped it over and made my mark here as well. Now to make the groove, what I'm going to do is you're going to see me do it real quick, is um, you take your table saw, if you have one, and you bring the blade up off the table to the depth of this here. Okay. okay. And I'm going to make my marks from the side so I can see where I am actually working out there on the table saw. Okay. And then after we're done with that, we're going to drill a hole right in the center, just as the factory did. You can probably see it in that camera there. We're going to drill a hole right in the center to receive this T-nut. Right, and all you got to do, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, just and it actually uh, goes deeper into the wood when you uh, use the bolt on the other side, correct? Yeah, because it's on the opposite side, okay. so the, the T-nut's being pulled into the wood. Okay, so that's... Um, that's okay. something we're going to And we doing. got to the depth by this is just basically laying this onto the table, having the groove inside where the blade is, mm -hmm. and raise the blade until it reaches or... The way, um, you're right. Yeah. Right, until it reaches, it reaches right depth. here. Like, so my finger here is the blade, and that's all we did. All right. Okay, so you're going to see me do this uh, right now on the, on the table saw. So let's get started. Perfect. All right. Okay, so we're finished. It's not too bad, right? Perfect. All right. It comes out pretty clean, so if you need to make a groove and you have a table saw, well, that's one way you can do it. Yeah. So the next thing we need to do is knock out this T-square. Oh, yeah. Or T-nut, rather. Let me see if I can get something here. Man. Yeah, please. Okay. Knock that out there. Okay. okay we got to save it, because I don't know if the thread is the same as the ones we have in the shop. Mm -hmm. They are kind of universal though, so it should be the same. So it's like going around all the sides and just slowly lifting it up. We'll get back to you in two weeks now. Here we go. <laughs> all right, perfect. That one's out. Okay, let's set this on top there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's going to be the face of it. So we're going to stick a pencil out. down there? And no, uh, take a... Uh, you could do that, yeah. But try to put that right in the center. That's a punch. And let me get you a hammer here. Let me see. Here. I'm gonna hold this down tight. That'd be my guess right about there. Wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you when to go. Yeah, are we good? Left and right, left and right? I believe so. No, right here. Yeah, we're good. We're good? We're good. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down and try to get it as centered as you can. Just hit one whack, one smack. That's good. I know that's two, but. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, good enough. Perfect. Good enough. Now. You know, this one's busted. I'd like to duplicate it the same, but that's not good. No. I mean, the hole is way too big. Okay, so we're going to use the same hole. Yeah, I don't like splitting it and turning it around like that, but I got no choice. So I wanted to be dupl uh, identical. See, that's, Go that's all my side. Right? It's fine. Your side, good, because now it's even. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, then it's good. All right, mm -hmm. you can do the same thing. Now, let's see here. It's as good. center as you can, man. Drop it right about there. Yeah, bring it, you, it's a little uneven, like a little okay, bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's perfect right there. Hit it. Right. That, that's cool. All right, see, that gets us a pilot hole for the drill bit. Perfect. Okay, so it doesn't crawl on us, and we know where the center is. All right. I mean, it's close. It's perfect. It's fine, okay? Now, the next step I need to do... Don't be picky. Don't get so picky. What we're going to do is take this piece here, as you can see, and this camera there, that's rolling all those holes that person put in there. Yeah, you know, we could tip it over here too. Right, a lot, a lot of dowels right there. Yes. A little bit of an overkill, and honestly, obviously, it's not connecting to anything. Uh, that's the veneer. That's not gonna hold nothing. No, it's not. I'm looking for nine sixteen staples. Nice. Got them right here. Okay. The staples will definitely hold just fine. Mm -hmm. 
here. Let me start with the C here too. Actually, let me, before you get started. You want to do frozen glue in there? Yeah, let me see. We got some ch chunks right here of wood that are keeping it from going down. Okay. Let me get some glue too. Yeah. Let me see here. Let's grab that. All right, perfect. That should be good. Lay flush. Yeah, let's put a little glue right here. Okay. All the way down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I ain't get much in here. Close. Okay. Rock and roll. All right. I might got a little chip in there. Let me see here. There we go. Put on the glasses. Glasses on. And there's a rag. Rag on. And a rag on. Right. Just, just you know, one every few. Your camera makes me nervous, so I'm going to put it over there. Okay, thank you. That's good. Shoot one right there, just miss that one, that's all. I'm glad you're seeing this, because a lot of times it's like we don't really do any work. Right. So at least I get to see this. Right in the corner. Wow. Okay. Alright, so now the next step all right. is to drill that. Okay. So we're going to drill for that T. Or the, what is it called, T-bolt? T nut. Oh, T, T nut. T nut. All right, cool. Now, let's go ahead and find the hole size. We got our mark that we used our punch. Right. We got our mark that we used the punch for. That is what I have been saying, you idiot. And um, we're just going to go ahead with a smaller bit because we need to transfer it over mm -hmm. to this side because we have a larger, um, mm -hmm. larger kind of what is that? What does that be called? Paddle Recess. Bit. Oh, recess with recess the hole bit, yeah. for with the paddle bit. All right, sweet. So right. let's go right on through, in case we can tell. Okay. See that side? Perfect. Okay. Let's take the paddle bit. Go on the reverse side. All right. Start making that recess hole. Man, I burned that thing up, didn't I? Mm-hmm. This is seven eighths. I'm just gonna recess it a little bit. Alright, there we go. All we're doing is duplicating exactly what they did in the factory, and I don't think we're gonna go wrong. That's right. Alright. All right. Now we're gonna go all the way through. Straight on through. Okay. Ready? Yep. Alright, right, look yeah. at that. Alright, so there you go. Looking the same. Should be able to put our T in there. Alright, let's go through the next one. Next one. Let's see here. I gotta lay this down on the concrete and use our hammer. Hammer that down in. Do you got a new one in there? Uh, I've got an old one in there. Are you putting an old one in? That's a good old one. Let's get them all new. Alright, sounds good. Okay. Let's get them all new. I like it. Okay. Let's get it down on the ground here. Right, that camera cut out in fourth one. Behind us? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. This would go on like so. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Hey man. Yep. Here's the other bowls, because you know what? They're supposed to have... Washers? Well, no, we need four bolts. So that's two, that's great, but... Where's the other one? You know what? That dude didn't, didn't put that bolt back. Yeah, he didn't. Shoot. So I need to go buy a bolt. Alright, so let's tell him. Okay, so we got the T bolts inside there, inside the holes that we're yep, ready. They're all good to go. And all we gotta do is lay this thing down on there and we got some glue ready. Yeah, yeah. And let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna put that cut side down. Okay. Rip side. I'm gonna put this down and put that uh, put back the nails. Okay. And it is important to plan out how you want your board to lay down first because what side you want out and stuff like that. Uh, this is obviously predetermined because we already have the insets in there and also the T bolts on a certain side. But you want to figure that out and at the appropriate time. You don't want like a rounded edge or something like that. Oh, nope. sorry. That's okay. There we go. I'm gonna have to round the edges once this glue dries. Okay. 
we are going to clamp this. Can you tighten it down? Yeah. Putting it right on the edge, we're going to clamp this, put the nails in just like they had, and we are going to, I have to go out to, oh, it's, it's okay, it's all good. Yeah, it's so good enough. And we're going to have to go out there and sand down the sides here because it's rounded here and it's rounded on this end. I don't think you can see it. I don't think the camera's on. Is mm -hmm. that camera always on? No, it's off. All right. It's out. So let's push this up here and push that down about right here. Do it on the corner. That's perfect. Yeah. Fortunately, so one of these clamps, um, it's getting a little old, so it continues to pop where it doesn't get as tight as it used to. So oh, that's going down. It's working. This one works well. Okay, so we're back from D.C. That was quite a trip. Yeah, it was far down there, but we got back, yep, and uh, did a pickup in an apartment building. Mm -hmm. And now we're back here to put the foam on. We're going to try to get this at least particular part done tonight uh, before we quit. And we came back and made a template here, this paper here. Right. All we care about is this angle. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hang it over an inch here and an inch here. All right. And then we're going to cut it off the excess so it's flush with the wood. Okay. Okay. Because so you have a little bit extra room. That's fine. Yeah, to do it exact never really works out. Yeah, I can like cut this. Like my opinion. Like that's fine. Don't worry right. about it. Okay, boss, you got it, man. I'm gonna do it. All right, no I'll problem. let you work. No, without a doubt, you're gonna hang it over because when you make it exactly the size, it usually doesn't work out. But you're not gonna run into the situation most likely. If you're just hopefully hanging out with us and seeing what we have to do, sometimes that's it. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. So we're gonna go out there and uh, glue outside. I hate gluing inside, and we'll be right back. We're gonna do each section. All right. Okay. Let's do it. And one, kind of phone. All right, so what are we going to do with this top part? Use a uh, carving knife for uh, cutting phone, and does a very good job. It's like it's a big lot. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to measure from here Perfect. to here, here to here, and here to here, and do the exact same thing. I want to cut this on, this one off right here. All right, perfect. Oops. All right, now we're going to go do this one, my man. All right. What we could do. We could do to be clean about it is do this factory edge right there. If I lay it down there, right and neat. All right, come a little bit my way. Oh crap, really? Oh, we're good. I'm perfect right there. Uh, you do have hangover? Just a teensy bit right here. Because I got to man, I didn't make it quite as long as I wanted to. But it oh, should be okay. Yeah, it'll work fine. Right, let's go out there and spray. We'll just have to be careful when we spray. Here we put it on. Oh, brilliant, baby. That's it. Okay, so now you can tell it's a little short. Oh, well, maybe you can't because uh, the foam came up a little bit shy. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly an inch. <clears throat> and uh, they used the metrics, and uh, we don't. So I think the measurement was a little bit different anyhow. We little... won't use the name of the person who sold us the foam. No. For their own safety. Oh, my gosh. We're done. Now we're going to put on Daycron. You're funny. <laughs> we're gonna put on Daycron now. Okay, so we're back on another day, and uh, we've already got the Daycron on, as you see. We're gonna be putting on the cover now. The funny thing about this business is we get interrupted a lot. You get um, calls for pickups and deliveries. You have clients coming over for fabric selection, as we're gonna have to do soon now. 
Uh, so it's a lot of a little bit here, a little bit there, but you get interrupted a lot. Yeah, we always try to get the client the thing done in a timely manner, and you usually do. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you do a pretty good job. So uh, what I'm gonna do is spray some silicone on this thing, it makes it easier to slide over, and then I'm gonna staple it and get it to the way the other one is, and then we're going to work on the front of the uh, sofa for the foam, and then install the arms. Yeah. So that's so what we're, we're gonna, gonna get onto. this. And also, I'm gonna be putting on the covers for the uh, seat and back cushions are over there. And then once we get that done, we'll show you the front of the sofa, and that's about it. We're gonna move on and show you the finished product. Safe or sound to have that many holes into your supporting wood. And I wonder who that is. Probably a bill collector. Here's 5104. Hey guys, give this people, give this person a call, will you? That's fine. Okay, so right now my dad's putting in putty where the dowels were, all those little holes along the structural uh, board. And the reason is, since it is a structural board, you want to make sure it's as secure as possible and safe and sound. So uh, he's doing that right now. Mm -hmm. Later on, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the front panel, as you can see right there, and then uh, get all the foam there. And he tapped it, and you can hear it's just wood right now. Because right, it all, all deteriorated like the other one did. Yeah, so all the foam's gone. So oh, we're yeah. going to put the foam up there, makes it a little bit more comfortable where your legs don't hit just wood. And uh, that's it. We're going to get back to you after that. Okay, so we've already got the other arm on. Now we're going to be working on the damaged arm. This is the arm that we replaced the board, the T-nuts, and also we filled in the dowel holes on the other side <laughs> of the sofa. Yeah, so we're going to put this arm right now and ready to go. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we always come at a job with a positive attitude. Screw you! <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? I'm not gonna forgive you. <laughs> That's right. Lars, we're coming after you. That's right. We know where you live, Finland. Can't oh be that God. big of a place. That's fine. I got a boat, damn it. <laughs> so now that you can only really not see anything. Actually, that's quite crooked, but hopefully they don't care. Well, just do B-rolls right now then. Just pick the thing up. Grant, just pick the thing up. Cause it's not like you're doing anything. Hey! Oh, that hurt, man. That's right. This looks all nice and clean. <laughs> That's right. Showmanship. Ooh, yeah, man. Are you B-rolling it? I'm B-rolling it. That's funny. Are you gelling? I'm gelling, man. All right, hey. so we're finished. I'm out of here. That's <laughs> we're done. Yeah, we're all finished. <laughs> the arm is completed. Oh, did you see that dust? I gotta blow this thing off. <laughs> I'm gonna it off with the air nailer. Air nailer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, we're finished. We appreciate you watching. It's only 10 a.m., man. What's wrong? I'm tired. So we're all finished, and we appreciate it. We know you're not going to do this unless you're going to Finland to pick up a sofa, and I don't think you're going to do right. that. Get it 50 years old and get it for cheap. So. <laughs> but if you do, you know how to fix it now. <laughs> we fixed the arm. We replaced all the foam. One here. We replaced the foam up here. Seat cushions and back cushions. Right. All right. We put the the uh, wood at the bottom of this arm here back the way the factory wanted it. So that's uh, about as best as we can get it. It's got another 20 years right ahead of it. It so. does. So we appreciate you hanging out with us. Give us a thumbs up and uh, tell a friend if you can or have one. Yes, <laughs> or right. Subscribe. If you have you probably don't have one if you're looking you know at you us. Do. You yeah, know. What? Right. <laughs> if you're if you're hanging out with us, you're, you're pretty you, desperate. Well, you know, we appreciate. It. We like you. Yeah, we do. We do. So we Thank you. It. Give us a comment. We'll try our best to get back to it. If yeah. you if you have a question it, def right? it definitely helps us with the uh, save my asset series so we're looking forward to that <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe because we are uh very happy to have you guys oh absolutely so we appreciate you hanging out with us All okay right. so now you know what you're not going to do but you know thanks yeah. for hanging out <laughs>